just crossed the border. We're Canadians now. I renounce my American citizenship. Is that how it works? That's, that's how it works. <laughs> Show you guys my passport. Hello. That's your what? Hello. That's your two favorite eggs. And I'm gonna on today's segment of spontaneous road trips, we are headed to Montreal. Um, I feel like we could make this a thing on our days off. We could just play Russian roulette with Google Maps and <laughs> pick somewhere to go. We are headed to Montreal. Uh, funny story, Kilo ordered some shoes that were, well, he did the tragic thing of thinking about something that was low stock and they sold out in the US. I didn't know they were low stock. As it happens to all of us, he went through other means to figure out how he can get his hands on these boots. And turns out the Canadian market still had them. And we have a friend in Canada and we're gonna go pick them up from her because we have them shipped there because importing them would have been $50. It would have been 47 for shipping. And then it would have been like $50 in, in dues. Oh my God. Yeah, for duties. It's significantly colder than uh, it was in Massachusetts, but I just wanted to take the time to show you guys my passport. What the? Yes, that is my passport photo. I took it at 3 a.m. at a Walgreens, and the story was, Akila was like, we're thinking about going to Toronto in a couple weeks. You coming? And I was like, yeah, I'm coming. I gotta get a passport. So he's like, oh, you gotta take a photo. And we're like, cool. So it's the middle of the night, our Walgreens is 24 hours and we just show up. The ladies were very helpful, but I'm sitting here like my, I don't have any makeup on. Thank God, because I didn't know what I was doing back then. So the ladies were super helpful. They like helped me fix my hair. I was on day like 20 here. I don't even know. My hair was just jacked up, but I couldn't really do much with it. The only thing that I could do for this photo was put it up in a bun. I'm just sitting there like, you know what? I'm just gonna make the best of it. I just need this and I need to get out as soon as possible so that I can make it on this trip to Toronto. I get the photo back and I was like, whatever, I send it in. I get my actual passport in the mail and I realized that my bun was just cut off completely and I'm like, Lord, I was wearing a choker, I was wearing a flannel and at the time I was like, oh, whatever, like, it's fine. It's only gonna be something that I have for 10 years, it's cool. But now that I look at it, I'm like, Jesus, so many regrets. Yeah, so that's the story about how I thought we were gonna go to Canada last minute and now I'm stuck with this ugly ass picture for the next <laughs> 10 years. That's what I'm gonna have to show to the Canadians when I get to the border. That's their first impression of me. I mean, to be honest, it seems pretty accurate from the way that I'm dressed right now. Just a little update from Vermont, a little story time. Uh, we're gonna be getting back on the road soon. Look at what this guy put on his car. Very festive for spooky season, I approve. All right, we're getting back on the road, so I'll talk to you guys.
Americans now. I renounce my American citizenship. Is that how it works? That's, that's how it works. works. <laughs> but, um, ah, oh, what does that say? Bonjour? It's French. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> Listen, I don't know anything in French. It's ironic because my name is French, but I couldn't tell you a single word in French. Everything is in French here. Look at that. Kilometers instead of miles per hour. They're changing the metrics. I'm so excited to do all the Canadian things. Look, danger, risque. It's risque. <laughs> But we're finally here after, what, like five hours of driving, roughly? We still have like, what, 50 miles to get to yeah. Montreal? Mm -hmm. But we finally have crossed the border. We are on Canadian soil. I will use all the Canadian Snapchat filters to brag <laughs> on my story. <laughs> Restart your phone. Restart my phone? Yeah, so I can get a nap. Ah, tell us. What is that? You never heard of, I got a social tell us. No, well, it's it a, has. It's a network. <laughs> It's Roger and tell us. It has the network. Should I just leave it? Mine, mine was too, but there wasn't any enhanced 4G, so I, I'm restarting my phone. I mean, I've got bars. I'm gonna well, connect not gonna to have, this. You're not gonna have 4G anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna have 4G up to 512 megabytes. <laughs> Verizon, what are you doing? Um, I'm switching to the car Wi-Fi because ain't nobody got data for that. I am gonna feel so bougie once we get to old Montreal. I'm gonna feel like I'm in Europe. <laughs> But I can't wait till we get to our Airbnb. I definitely want to change. I'm a little hungry, so I don't know what, what we're gonna do for food. You, you seem like you're kind of hungry too. You can have some chill. Check space for now. No, I mean, but like, what should we do for a meal? Uh, we'll see what we get there. All right. So everything is to be determined at this point. So. give you guys the full tour so as you walk in this is what you would see the bedroom is here the bathroom is to the left has this cute little I'm not even sure what you would call this type of sink but it's nice and cute and modern and aesthetic this is our shower it has a waterfall type shower head also very cute very modern walk in this is our bedroom nice little penthouse view of the city of Montreal very cute AC fan heating nice and toasty in here it's freezing tonight then we walk over into the living area there's a sofa bed here my <laughs> coat thrown over it's part of the aesthetic but we have the living area this is a sofa bed um, also more cute and scenic views of the city there's a little seating area out here cute little nesting tables you can pull out if you wanted to like eat here or something oh I just got your text <laughs> I said I did can you open this this patio I'm trying to do like a cute little tour of the area but... I can't get it open. I tried. This is a cute little seating area over here. I don't know why it's illuminated, but it looks really cute. It's a it's a look. There's seats out there. I wanna be able to sit there. There we go. Just want to get close by. <laughs> Cute little scenic views. Views of the city. And there is a kitchen eat-in area. I love the color of these cabinets, very cute. But it's a very small little eat-in kitchen area. We're not gonna be cooking, so I don't mind that it's tiny, but we've got a nice little sink. This also matches the cabinets up top. This is our 
our Airbnb. This is my first time staying in an Airbnb, so I'm pretty excited. And I don't really know what we're gonna do for tonight. It kind of stunk because we didn't get to come up here as soon as we got here because we're supposed to get a little like fob for the garage and basically what ended up happening is the fob for the garage or whatever it's called the little garage entrance key wasn't here so we didn't want to pay for parking in the event that we found it or that it was found so we just got in contact with the owners and it took them a few hours to actually get back to us and say hey like give us a solution basically. So what we ended up doing is that we're gonna park somewhere and they're gonna reimburse us for parking. Basically we had to wait a couple of hours before we had that solution. So we had to figure out what to do. So we tried to go to a food place. We tried to go to this Thai place that smelled super good. It looked really cute, but their wait was until eight o'clock and we got there around six. So uh, there wasn't any way that we could have eaten there or we would have starved to death. So we ended up going to a falafel like Lebanese place and it was pretty good. I'll put the name here if I remember to do so. It was my first time having falafel. Um, it was okay. Not exactly my cup of tea. I was really in the mood for Thai food so I'm probably just a little bit more disappointed about that but the food itself was actually pretty good. It had hummus. I am normally not a fan of hummus and I really enjoyed the hummus in this food so that says something but yeah we're probably just gonna crash and chill for a bit i really want to watch some horror movies on netflix but we'll see what akila's in the mood for and tomorrow we're gonna do a bunch of exploring i'm gonna get all cute and just have like a cute little adventure we're gonna get up early and stuff so probably gonna head in early tonight so that we can have energy for tomorrow and we're gonna try tim hortons for breakfast because i hear it's like dunks i just really hope that they have iced coffee because that's all I live off of. I'm not really a coffee connoisseur. Um, I'm kind of fake, I just get iced coffee. And uh, first impressions of Canada. Nobody uses their indicator, so just like back home. And it's very busy, there's a lot of bikes. It's like Cambridge times 20 with the bikes. So it's a little overwhelming in terms of driving around the city, at least for me, Akilo is used to driving around the city, so he's probably fine, but me, I'm just like, anxiety is through the roof <laughs> around every corner but so far so good like it's very cute it feels very much like new york but also like boston so it feels familiar in a certain way like just any north american city but it's on a larger scale so since i'm from boston i'm used to like a much smaller city environment and this is a bit bigger than what boston would be or at least it feels a lot bigger and I'm excited to see what the rest of the city holds for tomorrow. So if I don't get back to you guys tonight, I will get back to you guys tomorrow. And yeah, I don't wanna get too close to my face because my skin looks awful, but I will see you guys tomorrow.